Something I think all of us can benefit from is some time away from our devices and some time away from being connected all the time. I'd consider myself someone who loves technology, but I can definitely appreciate the benefit of some time away from it. I tend to be someone who overindulges in content. Between music, videos, and podcasts constantly playing in the background, I start to feel the overstimulation quickly. I came up with a few tips for becoming a digital minimalist and my reasons behind them. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Let's get started. In a time where everyone is very much involved in technology and the constant flow of information, I think there's a lot to benefit from stepping away from time to time. And the first way I'm doing that is by remembering that my devices are tools. My use of electronics and visits to social media accounts and a lot of time that I spend online in general is for convenience or just entertainment. When I catch myself in the endless loop of refreshing apps or watching videos, I try to remind myself that at its core, these devices I'm using are tools. These are things that, like I said before, I use for convenience, entertainment, or work. While it might feel impossible to not live a life connected to my electronics, I think it's important to at least have some moments where I'm not. I went out for a skate the other day and then realized when I got there that I didn't have my AirPods. And no, that wasn't the day that I did this. Normally, this would have been a deal breaker for me, but instead I used it as a chance to just leave my phone in the car and ride without music. I'm trying my best to remember that these devices are tools and they don't need to go with me everywhere that I go. The next thing is delete, unsubscribe, organize, and block. The same way I declutter physical items out of my life, I try to do the same thing with my digital clutter. I like to keep my desktop neat and organized. This means folders and regularly going through my content to see what I do and don't need anymore. Multiple times I've talked about routinely going through my phone and deleting pictures and text threads, so I won't mention that again. Something else I do maybe once a year or so is go through my contact list and delete the phone numbers of those who I don't really talk to anymore. And this is usually never anything personal, I just like a small contact list. An area that can be really tedious to tackle is my email. Even though I've never subscribed to most of these emails, they somehow find their way into my inbox. So every couple weeks or so, I'll make it a point to unsubscribe or even block some of these mailers. Keeping my phone and computer minimal in terms of what I have on it, keep the distractions away for the most part, and make me more selective of what I do keep on there. And the next thing I do is create friction. While having my digital areas neat and organized is satisfying, it shouldn't be an excuse to just sit there and constantly stare at it. In order to stop me from pulling out my phone randomly without a real purpose, I've given myself a few obstacles that just make it a little less tempting. This could include leaving my phone in another room or deleting apps every day or two to keep me from constantly checking them. If I'm on my computer, I like to set my windows to full screen so I'm not constantly refreshing other tabs. The whole point of creating friction is to implement a little bit of time to stop and catch myself and wonder why I'm about to do what I'm about to do. And the next tip is turning off notifications. And such a subtle change can make a huge difference. Even with only a few apps on my phone, I find that I'm pretty bombarded with notifications. I've made it a point to turn off notifications for everything except texts and phone calls. Because there isn't a notification from any other app that can't wait. For me, it would usually end up I would get a notification and an hour would go by and I'm wondering how I fell down the YouTube rabbit hole watching videos of Adam Sandler play basketball. And he's actually crazy good. And the last thing I do is spend time alone. I believe this is straight from the Cal Newport book on digital minimalism, but I wanted to give my two cents on it.
By spending time alone, I really mean unplugging and leaving your electronics behind for a day. Because for me, this is the only time I really feel like I can gather my thoughts and focus. And I found that this is a great way to learn a lot about yourself. I plan on making a video on this in the near future, so I don't wanna to dive too deep into it. I've experienced plenty more benefits through becoming a digital minimalist, but I'm gonna save those for a future video. Anyways, as always, I appreciate your time watching and I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did like this video and you do like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.